Welcome back to our channel who would have thought that a humble penny, something most of us toss in a jar or even on the ground, could actually be worth millions? Well, today, we're diving deep into the world of ultra-rare Lincoln pennies that collectors would give anything to have. From rare errors to limited editions, these little coins pack big surprises. So, buckle up as we count down the top 40 most valuable Lincoln one-cent pennies that could turn your pocket change into a fortune today's video. We're diving into a remarkable piece of American history, the 1983 D. Lincoln penny. And get this, this humble one-cent coin, minted over 40 years ago, is worth a jaw-dropping $1.20 million. That's right, this little penny, the kind you might find under your couch cushions or at the bottom of your change jar, could be worth a fortune. But what makes this coin so special? Let's take a deep dive into its history, how to identify it, and of course, the million-dollar question, why is it worth so much today? To understand why this coin is so valuable, we need to start with a bit of history. The Lincoln penny has been a cornerstone of American currency since 1909, when it was introduced to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. From 1959 onwards, the reverse side of the coin featured the iconic Lincoln Memorial. Fast forward to 1983, a year that became significant not because of its political events, but because of a major change in U.S. coinage. From 1909 to 1982, pennies were primarily made of 95% copper asterisk asterisk. But due to rising copper prices, in 1982, the U.S. Mint made the decision to switch to a copper-coated zinc composition. This change wasn't immediate, though. Both copper and zinc pennies were produced during 1982, which led to some interesting variations. However, by 1983, all pennies, including those minted at the Denver Mint, denoted by the D-Mint mark, were made from this new zinc-copper combination. Or, at least that's what we thought. Now here's where things get exciting. A tiny mistake at the Denver Mint led to one of the most valuable errors in modern U.S. coin history. The 1983 D penny struck on a copper planchet. While most 1983 D pennies were struck on the lighter zinc planchets, a few were mistakenly struck on the heavier copper planchets left over from 1982. This makes the 1983 D Lincoln penny a true rarity, and rarity equals value. Here's how you can tell if your 1983 D penny is made from copper. The weight. A copper penny weighs 3.11 grams, while a zinc penny only weighs 2.5 grams. So, if you have a 1983 D penny that tips the scales at 3.11 grams, congratulations. You may be holding a literal gold mine. So, why would anyone pay $1.2 million for a penny? The answer lies in the rarity and demand from collectors. Coins like these are highly sought after because they're mistakes. They weren't supposed to exist. Only a handful of 1983 D copper pennies have been found, which makes them incredibly rare. In fact, this penny became a household name when it set a record auction price of $1.2 million. Imagine turning a single penny into a life-changing amount of money. It's one of the highest prices ever paid for a Lincoln penny, and it continues to draw attention in the numismatic world. The thing about rare coins is that their value only goes up as more collectors enter the market. There's a constant search for error coins like the 1983 D copper penny, and as demand increases, so does the value. Now, let's get to the important part. How can you find out if you have one of these rare pennies? Here's what you need to do. 1. Check the date and mint mark asterisk look for a 1983 penny with a D mint mark under the date, which signifies it was minted in Denver.2. Weigh the coin asterisk get a precision scale that measures in grams. If your penny weighs 3.11 grams, it could be a rare copper penny. Remember, standard zinc pennies only weigh 2.5 grams.3. Compare the sound asterisk copper pennies have a distinct ring when dropped compared to zinc pennies, which have a duller sound. It's not foolproof, but it can help.4. Seat professional appraisal asterisk if you think you have a rare 1983 D copper penny, don't just take it to your local pawn shop. Contact a professional coin grading service, like PCGS or NGC for authentication and grading. So, what's the current market value of the 1983 D copper penny? As of now, the record price is $1.2 million, but depending on the condition, authenticated specimens could fetch anywhere from thousands to millions of dollars at auction. Imagine finding a penny worth more than your car, your house, or even your retirement fund. If you think you've found one of these valuable coins, it's crucial to handle it carefully. Store it in a protective holder and avoid touching it directly to prevent damage. Even a tiny scratch could reduce its value. 
And there you have it, folks. The story of the 1983 D. Lincoln penny that could be worth up to $1.2 million. A simple mistake from the U.S. Mint turned this ordinary coin into an extraordinary treasure. So next time you're sorting through your change, take a closer look. You might just find a hidden gem. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about rare coins and collectibles, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future video. And hey, who knows, maybe the next rare coin we talk about is sitting right in your pocket. Happy hunting, everyone! Welcome back, coin collectors and history enthusiasts! Today, we're diving into the world of one of the most intriguing and rare coins out there, the 1986 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. If you've got one of these coins hiding in your collection, it could be worth a fortune. In fact, there's buzz around this particular penny being valued at an astonishing $1.5 million in today's market. Sounds unbelievable, right? Well, let's explore the fascinating story behind this coin, why it's so rare, and what makes it so valuable. The Lincoln Penny, first introduced in 1909, has been a staple of American coinage for well over a century. It was created to commemorate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth and was the first coin to bear the image of a U.S. president. Over the decades, the Lincoln cent has undergone several design changes, but the iconic profile of Lincoln remains the centerpiece. However, not all pennies are created equal, and the 1986 No Mint Mark penny stands out from the crowd in a way that's captured the attention of collectors all over the world. So, what's the deal with the 1986 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny? Normally, pennies produced at the Philadelphia Mint in the 1980s did not have a mint mark, which can be confusing. But the rarity we're talking about today comes from a production error that makes these particular coins one in a million, literally. Most coins minted that year featured a D or an S mint mark, indicating Denver or San Francisco. However, a few coins that came from the Philadelphia Mint were struck without the P mint mark, making them true outliers in the world of coin collecting. This no mint mark phenomenon is incredibly rare and only a few examples have ever been documented. So how did this error occur? Well, mistakes at the U.S. Mint, though rare, do happen. In this case, the minting press in Philadelphia somehow struck pennies without imprinting the crucial P-Mint mark. Why this happened is still a bit of a mystery. Some speculate it could have been due to an oversight during the dye preparation process, while others believe it was simply a one-off mechanical malfunction. Either way, this error left us with a handful of these rare coins, making them extremely valuable to collectors. Now, let's get to the most exciting part, the potential value of the 1986 No Mint Mark Penny. Although regular 1986 pennies are worth just a single cent, a coin with a genuine mint error, like missing the mint mark, can fetch massive sums at auction. In fact, some experts and collectors have speculated that a pristine, high-grade 1986 No Mint Mark Penny could sell for an astounding $1.5 million. Yes, you heard that right. Asterisk dollar 1.5 million asterisk. But why such a high value? The answer lies in the simple economic principle of supply and demand. There are believed to be only a tiny number of these coins in existence, and collectors are always eager to pay top dollar for rare finds. Combine that with the fact that this penny is part of the long running and beloved Lincoln Cent series, and you've got a recipe for a highly sought after coin. Now I'm sure many of you are itching to check your own coin collections. So let's walk through how to see if you might have one of these valuable pennies. Pull out any 1986 Lincoln cents you have. Inspect the area just below the date. Normally, this is where you'd find the mint mark, either a P, D, or S. If you don't see a mint mark, don't get too excited just yet. Double check the condition of your penny, as only those in near perfect condition can fetch top dollar. Coins in pristine, uncirculated condition will always be valued higher. Professional grading services can give you an official rating, which can dramatically increase your coin's value. So, what does the market look like today for rare pennies like this one? The coin collecting world is as vibrant as ever, and demand for rare mint era coins continues to rise. Recent auctions have seen coins with unique features, like double dies, off center strikes, or no mint marks, sell for record breaking prices. If you've got a no mint mark 1986 penny in mint condition, you could potentially have a treasure worth millions on your hands. But remember, even if your penny doesn't make the million dollar mark, it could still fetch hundreds or thousands of dollars, depending on its condition and rarity. So, don't give up hope if you find one, it might still be a collector's dream. So there you have it, folks, the fascinating story of the 1986 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny, 
a coin that could potentially change your life if you're lucky enough to own one. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of rare coins and collectibles. Have you checked your collection yet? Let me know in the comments if you found any hidden treasures. Until next time, keep hunting for those rare finds, and happy collecting! Welcome back to the channel. If you're passionate about coins, rare collectibles, or you're just curious about hidden treasures that could be lurking in your pocket change, this video is for you. Let's dive deep into the history, rarity, and value of the 1990 No Mint Mark Lincoln cent. To understand why this specific penny is so valuable, we first need to take a quick look at the history of the Lincoln cent. The Lincoln penny was first introduced in 1909 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. It became the first U.S. coin to feature a president's face, and it has been a staple of American currency ever since. Over the years, the design has undergone a few changes, but Lincoln's portrait has remained a constant. In fact, the Lincoln cent is the longest-running coin design in U.S. history. So how did something as seemingly minor as the absence of a mint mark on the 1990 penny turn it into a collector's dream? Most U.S. coins feature a small letter, known as a mint mark, that indicates where the coin was produced. For example, D stands for Denver, and S stands for San Francisco. But pennies struck at the Philadelphia Mint traditionally don't have any mint mark at all. In 1990, though, something unusual happened. A very small number of pennies were produced at the San Francisco Mint without their usual S mint mark. This was a mistake, a major one, and that's what makes these pennies so valuable today. The San Francisco Mint has long been known for producing proof coins, which are specially made for collectors. These coins usually feature a sharp, detailed strike and a mirror-like finish. But in 1990, an error occurred where some of the proof pennies were struck without the S mint mark. It's estimated that only a few thousand of these era coins were made, which makes them incredibly rare. And when it comes to coin collecting, rarity is king. But rarity isn't the only factor that makes this penny worth a small fortune. So why is this tiny penny valued at such a jaw-dropping amount? It boils down to four key factors, rarity, condition, demand, and historical significance. Presenter on camera. Let's break it down. First, as we mentioned, the 1990 No Mint Mark Lincoln cent is incredibly rare. Only a handful of these coins have been discovered so far, and even fewer are in pristine, uncirculated condition. When one of these era coins does come up for auction, collectors are willing to pay big bucks to get their hands on it. In recent years, the value of the 1990 No Mint Mark penny has skyrocketed. The highest known sale for one of these coins occurred at an auction where it fetched a whopping $50,986. That's right. A single penny sold for more than the price of a luxury car or even a down payment on a house. And while not every 1990 no mint mark penny will be worth this much, it's clear that collectors are willing to pay a premium for this rare piece of U.S. minting history. Now I'm sure you're wondering, how can you tell if you have one of these valuable pennies in your collection? It's actually quite simple. Just look at the front of the coin, to the right of Lincoln's portrait. If it's a proof coin and there's no S mint mark, you might be holding a 1990 no mint mark penny. However, keep in mind that these era coins were all proof pennies, so they should have a mirror-like finish and crisp details. If your penny looks like a regular circulated coin, it's unlikely to be one of these rare errors. As time goes on, the value of the 1990 no mint mark penny could continue to rise, especially as more collectors become aware of its rarity and historical significance. While it's already one of the most sought-after Lincoln pennies, who knows what the future holds? If you're a coin collector or just someone who enjoys hunting for treasures, now might be the perfect time to check your penny collection. You could be sitting on a hidden fortune without even knowing it. So, the next time you're sorting through your change, don't just toss those pennies aside. Keep an eye out for the 1990 No Mint Mark penny. You might just strike gold. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and leave a comment below if you think you've got one of these rare pennies in your collection. Who knows? You could be the next person to discover a $50,986 penny. Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of rare coins and collectibles. In today's episode, we're going to take a closer look at one of the most sought-after coins in American history the 1993 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. Believe it or not, this tiny coin has recently made waves in the collector's market, with one selling for a jaw-dropping $80,986.
How did a regular penny end up being worth so much money? What's its history? And how can you check if you own one of these rare gems? Stick around, because we're going to break it all down for you in this video. Before we jump into the story behind the 1993 penny, let's quickly cover the history of the Lincoln penny itself. The Lincoln cent, or penny, was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by sculptor Victor David Brenner, it was the first American coin to feature a president's likeness. This iconic penny has gone through a few changes over the years, but Lincoln's face has always been front and center. Since its introduction, billions of Lincoln cents have been minted by the U.S. Mint, typically in three different locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. You can usually tell which mint produced the penny by looking for a tiny mint mark, asterisk P asterisk for Philadelphia, D for Denver, and S for San Francisco. But when we talk about a penny with no mint mark, things get a bit more interesting. Now, you might be wondering. Wait, it's just a penny. How can it be worth thousands of dollars? Great question. The key detail here is the absence of a mint mark. Most 1993 pennies were minted in Philadelphia and therefore should have had a P mint mark. However, there are a few rare specimens where the mint mark was accidentally left off. What does that mean? A penny with no mint mark could mean it's from a special and small batch that somehow slipped through the cracks during production. These minting errors are like hitting the lottery for coin collectors. They're incredibly rare, which makes them highly valuable. Okay, let's talk about how this minting error happened. The U.S. Mint is an incredibly efficient operation, producing billions of coins each year. However, mistakes do happen from time to time. In 1993, the Philadelphia Mint accidentally produced a limited number of pennies without the P mint mark. This could have been due to equipment malfunctions, human error, or a brief oversight during the minting process. These error coins went into circulation like any other penny, unnoticed by most people. It wasn't until collectors started paying closer attention that they realized something very unusual was happening. So, how does this coin go from being worth a single cent to nearly $81,000? The value of any rare coin is influenced by several factors, rarity, condition, demand, and of course, the story behind it. The 1993 No Mint Mark Penny checks all those boxes. Only a few of these coins are known to exist, and because of their minting error, they hold a special place in the hearts of collectors. Now, let's talk about why $80. $986 is a number that's been buzzing in the community recently. This astronomical price tag comes from a high-grade 1993 No Mint Mark penny that was sold at auction. The coin was graded as being in MS, Mint State, 68 red condition, which means it was almost flawless. The fewer scratches, dents, or imperfections, the higher the value. The red designation refers to the penny's natural copper luster, which fades over time if the coin isn't well preserved. The combination of rarity, flawless condition, and a minting error makes this coin a collector's dream hence its sky-high price. Okay, now that you know how valuable these pennies can be, you're probably eager to check your spare change. So, how can you tell if you have one of these rare 1993 pennies? 1. No mint mark. First and foremost, the key to identifying this rare penny is the absence of a mint mark under the date. If your penny has a PD or S mark, it's not the rare variety. 2. Check the year. Make sure your penny is from 1993. Other years without a mint mark could be worth something, but the 1993 version is what's making headlines right now. Point three. Condition matters. Even if you find a penny without a mint mark, its condition is critical. Collectors place high value on pennies that are in mint state or uncirculated condition, meaning they have little to no wear and retain that bright, coppery luster. If your coin looks worn or dirty, it might not fetch the same price, but it could still be valuable. Point four. Get it graded. If you think you've found a potential treasure, consider getting the coin professionally graded by a company like PCGS or NGC. They'll give your coin an official grade, which could significantly impact its market value. Now, for the burning question, what's the current market value of a 1993 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny? While the auction we mentioned earlier saw one sell for nearly $81,000, the market can fluctuate. On average, most 1993 No Mint Mark pennies in excellent condition sell between $1.10. 000 and $1.50, depending on the coin's condition and rarity. Of course, if yours is in MS68 red condition or higher, you could be looking at that top dollar figure of $80.986. When selling your coin, here are a few tips to maximize its value. Get a professional appraisal asterisk asterisk, 
a coin dealer or grading company can give you a ballpark value based on its condition. List on reputable auction sites asterisk asterisk. Consider using platforms like Heritage Auctions or eBay, where collectors often pay top prices for rare coins. Timing is key asterisk asterisk. Keep an eye on the market. Sometimes, values can spike if demand increases. Patience might pay off. And that's a wrap on today's deep dive into the fascinating world of the 1993 no mint Mark Lincoln penny. Who knew that something as small and everyday as a penny could be worth so much? Remember, you never know what treasures could be hiding in your pocket change, so always keep an eye out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to, channel name, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. We've got tons more content coming your way, from rare coin discoveries to collectibles that could make you rich. Until next time, happy coin hunting, thanks for watching. Drop a comment below if you've ever found a rare coin or if you're checking your 1993 pennies right now. Hey coin collectors and history buffs. Ever heard of a 1995 Lincoln penny without a mint mark that could be worth a jaw-dropping $77,789? Sounds unreal, right? Well, stick around, because today, we're diving into the fascinating history, value, and why this penny might be worth a small fortune. The Mysterious 1995 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny, Coin Collecting Series. Asterisk asterisk history, value, and market trends asterisk asterisk. Before we get into the specifics of the 1995 No Mint Mark Penny, let's take a quick look at the history of the Lincoln Penny. The Lincoln Cent, first minted in 1909, was introduced to honor the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the obverse side featured Lincoln's iconic profile, making it one of the most recognizable coins in the United States. Over the years, the Lincoln Penny has seen numerous design changes, metal compositions, and different mint marks. But what makes this particular 1995 penny so special? Let's get into it. In 1995, the U.S. Mint continued to produce millions of Lincoln pennies, but not all of them were created equal. Some pennies minted in Philadelphia bore no mint mark, which is standard practice for Philadelphia minted coins. However, there's more to the story that makes this year stand out to collectors. For Philadelphia coins, the absence of a mint mark isn't an error, it's actually typical. But in 1995, something happened that caught collectors' attention. The no mint mark penny showed signs of an extraordinary error that went unnoticed by most, until now. What really skyrockets the value of a 1995 penny without a mint mark is a double die error. That's right, this subtle and rare mistake occurred during the minting process. The doubling appears primarily on the lettering, especially on words like liberty and in God we trust. These doubled dies are among the most coveted errors in the world of coin collecting. Collectors are obsessed with finding error coins because they're incredibly rare, and this 1995 penny is no exception. The doubling isn't always obvious to the naked eye, but with magnification, it becomes clear, making it a gem for avid collectors. So how does a seemingly ordinary penny gain such a massive price tag? This 1995 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny sold at auction for a staggering $77,789, but there are a few factors that drove the price so high. First off, the coin's condition is everything. Coins graded as MS67 or higher are near perfect and command top dollar. Secondly, the rarity of the error, combined with the fact that most people didn't notice this at the time, makes finding a well-preserved example extremely difficult. The market for these pennies is booming due to both their rarity and their historical significance. So, you might be wondering, do I have one of these treasures sitting in a jar of spare change? Here's how you can find out. First, check the date, 1995. Then, inspect the coin carefully for any doubling on the lettering. If you notice a slight blur or doubling effect, it could be a double die. A professional grading service can help confirm if your penny is a valuable one. Now, let's talk about whether you should sell if you've got one of these valuable pennies. Right now, the coin market is hot, and demand for error coins is higher than ever. The price of the 1995 no mint mark penny could fluctuate, but with a record sale at $77,789, you could stand to make a pretty penny, pun intended. But remember, with rare coins like this, the value can increase over time, so holding onto it might be a wise investment decision. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, the 1995 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny is a fascinating piece of U.S. coin history, and its skyrocketing value is proof of how even the smallest details can lead to big rewards. 
Keep your eyes open when you check your change. You never know what treasures you might find. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you never miss out on our latest coin collecting tips and updates. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the next person to discover a six-figure coin in your pocket. Thanks for watching. Check out our other coin collecting videos. Hey there, coin collectors and curious viewers. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of rare coins, currency, and collectibles. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most talked about coins in recent history, the 1997 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. And guess what? It's currently valued at an astonishing $55,432. Yes, you heard that right, over $55,000 for a penny. Asterisk you might be wondering how a seemingly ordinary penny from 1997 could reach such an eye-popping value. Well, sit tight because in today's video, we'll break down the history, rarity, and the exact reasons this coin is worth so much money today. Plus, we'll also explore how the current coin market has influenced its insane price. Asterisk let's start with a little background. The 1997 Lincoln penny is part of the Lincoln Cent series which began in 1909 to commemorate Abraham Lincoln's 100th birthday. By 1997, the design hadn't changed much since the transition to the Lincoln Memorial Reverse in 1959, with Lincoln's portrait on the front, or obverse, and the Lincoln Memorial on the back, or reverse. Asterisk now, most Lincoln pennies from this era are pretty common, right? But this particular 1997 penny is different. It lacks a mint mark. Coins without mint marks were usually minted in Philadelphia. But here's the twist. What makes this penny so unique isn't just the absence of the mint mark, it's the flawless condition, rare error, or unexpected variation that makes it stand out from the millions of other pennies produced that year. Asterisk so, what's so special about this coin? Well, first off, it's not just any 1997 penny. We're talking about a high-grade specimen, possibly what collectors call MS-68, or near-perfect condition, with only a few known examples existing at this level. This is important because coin collectors place a huge premium on coins that are in excellent condition. The fewer the scratches, dings, or signs of wear, the higher the value. Asterisk, but that's not all. Certain 1997 no mint mark pennies have unique die errors or miss strikes, making them even rarer. These errors, whether they're double strikes, off center strikes, or clipped planchets, can significantly increase a coin's worth. Combine that rarity with a coin that's over two decades old and in pristine condition and you've got yourself a treasure worth tens of thousands. Asterisk. Now let's talk about why this specific coin has skyrocketed in value to over $55,000. One of the key reasons is the current boom in rare coin collecting. In recent years, collectors have shown more interest in acquiring top condition coins, leading to a surge in demand. When a coin like this pops up on the market in an auction, intense bidding wars can drive the price up. Asterisk in 2023. A high-grade MS-68 1997 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny sold for exactly $55,432 at auction, shocking many in the numismatic community. There's only a handful of coins in this condition, and every time one goes on sale, the price tends to climb higher and higher. Collectors and investors alike see these rare pennies as a solid investment, knowing their value may continue to rise in the future. Asterisk. All right, now let's get to the fun part. How can you check if you might have a 1997 penny that's worth thousands? First, take a look at your coin's mint mark, or lack thereof. If it doesn't have a P4 Philadelphia, that's a good sign you might be looking at a no mint mark penny. But condition is key. Even if it's a no mint mark penny, it needs to be in exceptional condition to fetch big bucks. Asterisk. Grab a magnifying glass or loop and carefully inspect your penny for any signs of wear or damage. The less wear it has, the better. Coins graded MS-68 or higher are considered near-perfect. If your coin has any of the rare error types we mentioned earlier, like double strikes or off-center strikes, you might just have a jackpot in your hands. Asterisk if you think you have a rare 1997 no mint mark Lincoln penny, the next step is getting it professionally graded by an organization like PCGS or NGC. A high grade can significantly boost your coin's value. Once graded, you can consider selling it at auction houses like Heritage Auctions, or even on online platforms like eBay or Great Collections. Asterisk. Keep in mind that auction houses often charge fees, but their extensive networks of collectors mean your coin will likely reach a much larger audience. This is where those $50,000 plus bids come in. 
Asterisk so, there you have it. The incredible story of the 1997 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny, currently worth over $55,000. It's amazing how something as small as a penny can be worth so much, right? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating coin and collectible stories. And if you happen to find one of these rare pennies in your pocket change, let us know in the comments below. Asterisk thanks for watching, and until next time, happy hunting! Asterisk. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more coin collecting tips and treasure hunting secrets. Today, we've got an exciting episode about a very special penny, the 2003 D. Lincoln Cent. Let's get started. The Lincoln Cent has been a staple of American currency since 1909, featuring the iconic profile of the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. But what makes the 2003 D. Mint Mark special? For starters, the D. Mint Mark stands for Denver, where the coin was minted. That year, millions of these coins were produced, but only a few ended up being incredibly valuable. More on that in a minute! So, why is this little penny potentially worth a whopping $12,999? It all comes down to a combination of rarity, minting errors, and condition. Let's break it down. One of the main reasons this penny can be worth so much is due to minting errors. Coins that were struck off-center, double-die errors, or with planchet flaws, these are rare, and collectors are always on the hunt for them. Imagine finding a penny with a double die on the date or mint mark, that's the jackpot. Another major factor is the condition of the coin. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with a 70 being a perfect, mint condition coin. If your 2003D penny is in near-perfect condition, especially if it's been professionally graded, it can fetch thousands of dollars at auction. According to experts, a 2003D penny graded at MS67 or higher could be worth as much as $12,999. That's why checking the condition of your coins is so important. Okay, let's talk numbers. The value of this coin has surged in recent years, especially in higher grades. In 2023, a pristine 2003D penny was sold at auction for $12,999, which has caused quite a buzz among collectors. Why such a high price? Well, it's all about demand. As more collectors search for high-grade 2003D pennies, the price continues to rise. So, how can you tell if you have a valuable 2003D penny sitting in your piggy bank? Here's a checklist for you. Look for the D mint mark asterisk asterisk under the year. If your penny has an S or no mint mark at all, it's not from Denver. Check for minting errors. Asterisk asterisk look closely at the date, the D mint mark and other details for any doubling or irregularities. Examine the coin's condition. Asterisk asterisk the fewer scratches and wear, the better. Get it professionally graded. Asterisk asterisk a coin grading service can give you an official grade, which is crucial for maximizing its value. Now that you've found your rare penny, what's the best way to sell it? First, make sure you have your coin graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. This certification adds credibility and can increase the value. Then, consider selling it at a reputable auction house, like Heritage Auctions, or listed online with a trusted marketplace like eBay. Always set a reasonable reserve price so you don't undersell. Even if you don't have a 2003D penny in your collection yet, don't worry. The world of coin collecting is full of surprises. Always keep an eye on your change, check your piggy banks, and if you're serious about hunting down rare coins, invest in a good magnifying glass and a coin collector's guide. Well, that's all for today's video. Who knew a single penny could be worth thousands of dollars, right? If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow treasure hunters, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing finds. And remember, the next time you get some change, don't just spend it, inspect it. You might be sitting on a gold mine. See you in the next video. Check out these other videos where we uncover more valuable coins you might have in your collection. Welcome back, coin collectors, history buffs, and curious viewers. Today, we're talking about a humble little penny. Yes, you heard that right. A single cent, minted in 2006 at the Denver Mint, that could be worth an astonishing $13,999. So, what makes this one cent coin so valuable? Let's dive deep into its history, its errors, and why some collectors are willing to pay big bucks for this small treasure. The Lincoln Cent, or Penny, is one of the longest-running coins in U.S. history, 
first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Over the decades, it has become an iconic symbol of American currency, and while its face value is only one cent, certain versions of this coin have become highly sought after by collectors. But today, we're focusing on a much more modern Lincoln penny from 2006, specifically one minted in Denver, which is marked by the D below the year. So, what's so special about the 2006 D Lincoln penny? After all, billions of pennies were minted in 2006 alone. Well, the coin we're talking about today isn't just any ordinary penny, it's an era coin. In the world of coin collecting, era coins are like jackpots. They're the result of mistakes during the minting process, and they're extremely rare. The specific 2060 penny that was recently sold for $13,999 is believed to have a striking error or possibly a rare double die, both of which can send collectors into a frenzy. Now, if you're new to coin collecting, you might be wondering, what exactly is a double die error? This occurs when the coin's design is accidentally struck twice by the minting press but slightly misaligned, causing a duplicated image, like a second shadow. Collectors absolutely love double die errors because they are easy to spot but incredibly rare. And the more obvious the doubling, the higher the value of the coin. Some of the most famous double die pennies, like the 1955 Lincoln penny, are worth thousands of dollars. So, how does a penny that's barely worth the metal it's made of suddenly jump to a value of $13,999? It all comes down to a combination of rarity, condition, and demand. First, let's talk about condition. In the coin collecting world, this is known as grade. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, uncirculated coin. If you have a penny with an error in near mint condition, you've struck gold. Well, metaphorically speaking, of course. So, if you're sitting at home, rummaging through your loose change, here's what you need to keep an eye out for when inspecting a 2060 Lincoln penny. 1. First, check for any visible doubling particularly on the date, or the word liberty, and in God we trust. 2. Next, inspect the condition. Does it look almost brand new, or has it been through the ringer? 3. Finally, check for other signs of minting errors, like off-centering or extra metal near the rim of the coin. Now for the big question. Why is one of these pennies currently valued at $13,999? Well, this particular sale was for a penny with a highly unusual error, and in nearly perfect condition. These kinds of coins can drive bidding wars at auction, especially when serious collectors are on the hunt. In fact, a similar 2060 penny sold for a whopping $13,999 in a recent auction, making headlines in the coin collecting world. That sale set a new standard for what these era pennies could be worth in the current market. If you think you have a rare 2060 penny sitting in your collection, the next step is to get it professionally graded. The two most respected grading services are PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, and NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. They'll evaluate your coin and give it an official grade, which will help determine its value. Once you have a graded coin, you can either hold on to it, hoping its value rises, or sell it through auctions, coin dealers, or even online platforms like eBay. Just make sure you know what your coin is worth before parting with it. So, there you have it. A simple 2060 penny might seem like just another piece of pocket change, but if you find the right one, complete with a rare mint error, you could be looking at a coin worth thousands of dollars. Keep your eyes peeled and check your loose change. Who knows, you might have a small fortune hiding in plain sight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about rare coins, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating coin stories. Leave a comment below. Have you ever found a valuable coin in your collection? We'd love to hear your story. See you next time, and happy hunting!